Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more In The Heights. Today we're doing When You're Home. And last time we found out that Abuela won that $96,000. And so looking forward to seeing what happens next. Let's get started. I used to think we lived at the top of the world when the world was just a subway map and the one slash nine <laughs> climbed nine. dotted line to my place. There's no nine train now. <laughs> right. I used to think the Bronx was a place in the sky when the world was just a subway map. And my thoughts took shape on that fire escape. Mm. Can you remind me of what it was like at the top of the world? Ask me, Betty. Ooh. Ooh. We begin July with the stop in my corner by your hydrant. Uh, I've never gone by a open fire hydrant. I heard the sirens and then I ran like hell. Father's this back window, he let me in, yo, they're coming to get me. You were always constant. And then your dad would act all snide, but he'd let me hide, you'd be there inside. Life was easier then. Nina, everything is easier when you're home. Show you all I know. The sun is setting and the light is getting Are low. We going to Castle Garden? Maybe, maybe not the way to take a shot when the day is out. I got a perfect shady spot a little ways away that ought to cool Ooh. us down. I like it. Down. Back to town. Now back to the high school when it darkened, you'd hang out in Fred and Park. And Snobby would bring his radio. As I walked home from senior studies, I'd see Much more serious song.
really got to show off their voices there at the end. Ah, poor Nina, feeling like she isn't deserving of people being proud of her. Ugh. I like the song, with uh, Nina reminiscing about her childhood, the one in nine trains. I don't even remember the nine train. Uh, she was thinking that the Bronx was a place in the sky because it's the top of the subway map. That was a really interesting take. And yeah, things were so much simpler for her back then, which I guess foretold the song taking a more serious turn near the end. Um, but yeah, Benny was walking with her through memory lane, opening the fire hydrant every summer. I grew up in the wrong neighborhoods for something like that to happen. Never saw a broken fire hydrant. Uh, kind of sad about that. But yeah, Nina wanted to remember the good old days because now she's in the situation where she's dropped out of school because she no longer has the scholarship. And, uh, Benny and Nina show some interest in each other here. And I think we got some hints of it before, but I feel like they're much more open about their feelings this time. Um... First, Benny was saying that the streets are kinder when you're home, which could mean that she feels uh, like the streets of Washington Heights are kinder to Nina than the streets where Stanford is. Um, but also, it could mean that the streets feel kinder to him when she's home. Um, and he did make it clear that the day seems clear with her here, at least. So, yeah, it seems like they're pretty interested. Um, it's... I found a lot of this song actually pretty foreign to my uh, experience as a second generation immigrant. Because um, it's clear that she and Benny feel a strong sense of belonging to Washington Heights, uh, the sense of feeling like you're home. And that's something I don't think I've actually ever felt. Uh, I'm not connected to my neighborhood the way these characters are, possibly because my, ma my family had to move like five times before I became an adult. Uh, I have walked the area where I went to elementary school, uh, but none of my friends live there anymore. And yeah, it's, it, it feels pretty disjointed. I can't imagine what she's going through though and what she feels uh, to be, to come home though, to feel rooted. So um, happy for her. And on the other hand, she has this feeling of, uh, has this question of what it would it be like, what she would be like if her family hadn't immigrated from Puerto Rico and who she would be if she lived with her people, she said my people. And again, that's so foreign to me because I've never wondered what it would be like if my parents hadn't moved here. Um, I've never wanted to because my parents happened to come uh, to the US when they were both 13. And while I constantly want this country to be better, uh, I don't hide uh, my frustrations with the United States. I do recognize that I have it way better here than if I lived in Hong Kong or Taiwan where my parents are from or in China. Um, for one, my parents would have beaten me a lot more if they didn't learn from U.S. cultural norms. And, uh, for another, there'd be more pressure to live my life according to what society wants. And I just don't feel like I'm a good fit for Chinese society. And unlike Nina, I honestly don't view the people in a East Asia as my people. And I think a large part of that is because I have the same fundamental disagreements with every first generation Chinese immigrant I've ever come across, which um, just a lot of just their take towards life and their anti-blackness, honestly, is a big part of it, too. Um, and so I view I, f I think I view everyday New Yorkers as my people. Um, but yeah, Nina tries to find find the answer to what it'd be like if her family didn't leave Puerto Rico by working harder, learning all she can, learning Spanish and maybe finding the answer at Stanford, which Outside of learning Spanish, I don't know how any of those things were going to help her connect to who she would have been. And actually going to a school that is much more white than her neighborhood feels like it'd have the opposite effect. Because uh, I had a friend who went to Ithaca College for the college experience and wound up being severely depressed being away from all the people of color uh, in New York City. And I mean, Stanford has much less POC than New York City as a whole, let alone a neighborhood like Washington Heights. So yeah, curious what her thinking was there. Um, and she definitely didn't feel, I feel like she's even f more uh, disconnected from the answers that she wants now that uh, she's gone to Stanford and has failed out. Not failed out, she's lost her scholarship. Um, it's interesting because I feel like I have a lot to say about the song, but uh, it's not about... <laughs> 
it's it's like connecting my personal experiences to it. But yeah, uh, Nina and Benny really got to show off their vocal cords, and I really felt the music with this. I was like bobbing my head and everything. Um, but yeah, all right. Uh, I feel like we're getting somewhere with this musical. Um, feels like we're building on the story development and character development. So looking forward to the next song, which is going to be Paragua. So yeah, leave a like, really helps to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.